This video is brought to you by the Corsair Vengeance K70 and K95. These fully mechanical keyboards are designed for performance gaming. Visit Corsair.com slash Vengeance Gaming to learn more. Guys, welcome to our product overview of the Omni by Virtuix. So this is the world's first virtual reality setup right now. The only way that you can actually use something like an Oculus standing up, and not only that, but it enables movement while you are in games in a way that's just never been done before. So I'm gonna walk you through what you actually need to get this going. Step one is you're gonna need some kind of motion tracking device. Right now, this is an Xbox 360 Kinect, but as you can imagine, there are other solutions that could enable a world of other possibilities, such as, well, the new Xbox One Kinect, which is going to be higher definition, just generally better in every possible way, or even things like accelerometers built into the device itself. The future, no one knows but you know, wink, wink. Um, also, you are going to need yourself a computer. Sorry, console gamers, you guys are gonna have to man up and actually invest in a gaming computer at this point because let's just face it, when it comes to new ways of interacting with our games, PC is still number one. Now we're here doing a product demo, but I actually haven't gotten a chance to try it yet. So I am taking Jan's word for it at this point, but we are gonna be trying it and blogging about it before we leave this hotel suite. So Jan is modeling for us his brainchild, the Omni. So it starts with, you need some kind of virtual reality device. In this case, this is an Oculus development kit that he is wearing. So you can see it's attached by a wire to the PC. The Oculus is unique in that it uses a single screen and then an optical splitter in order to bring images to each eye. Right now the dev kits aren't very high res, which makes it a little bit less immersive, but by the time the Oculus Rift hits us, we're gonna be talking about a completely different gaming experience. Now, here's the challenge. This is the problem that Jan solved here, is that you can't use an Oculus standing up because what happens is your body it orients itself according to what you see. So if you're looking around in a game world, you will fall over trying to use an Oculus without this device. So let's work our way down. So next we're gonna find, this is relatively unimportant right now, but could be different in the future. This is just an off the shelf plastic gun. You being used as a trigger. This is an Xbox controller. And right now it is completely unexceptional and totally just, you know, whatever. You could be easily holding like, you know, a, a marshmallow that had a button in it and that would work just as well. But in the future, we could be talking about separate tracking for the camera and the gun. In fact, there's a demo that Valve's got working right now in collaboration with Virtuix, where you could even do things like run down a path, down a corridor, shooting behind you with your gun because the tracking is completely separate. But right now, this demo that we're looking at today doesn't have that. All right, next up, what we've got is the support device. So this is where the Omni really comes into its own. Now, as you can see, this one right here is made out of basically hand-welded steel as well as uh, a couple of sort of also handcrafted low friction pads. So there's two here, and um, Jan, if I could just get you to rotate a little bit for the audience, and right here. So these interface with a low friction ring around the support device here, and then it's all held on with a supportive belt. Now what this does is it keeps you from falling, and it also keeps you from being uncomfortable or feeling strange while you stand in the device. There's two more pieces here down below below that make it so that when you lean forward, you don't, have, uh, you don't have any kind of a weird pressure on you. Now these are all totally prototypes and the finished design will be completely different. Um, I mean, it'll still support you. It won't be different in that it's like a hen and lays eggs. It'll be different in that it's shaped differently. So let's move on to the actual Omni itself. This supportive ring right now is made of wood. You know, the old, uh, well, it's the prototype. Is it made from wood screws then? The answer is yes. And the finished one will actually use a steel endoskeleton inside the entire thing and be made of molded plastic. So it'll be much less heavy and it'll also be a lot more sleek looking. But this ring right here is what keeps you from falling it is also what supports your belt as you move forward because the Omni actually allows you to not only use virtual reality standing up, but also walk in games or even run in games, which we've had demoed for us already. You can even alter your movement speed. This is gonna change the way that you interface with games. So the old way was 
the, the only way to keep a, a crosshair on someone was to strafe around. No one actually moves like that. This is going to change the immersion because all of a sudden you'll be able to look around a corner, boom, 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 look back, and you won't have to rely on weird cheap tricks like you know, quick time events to actually move around and do the things that you need to do. So these arms are going to be changed. Right now, again, they're made of wood and this height adjustment thing right here, so for those of you who don't happen to be exactly the same height as Jan, um, you know, he didn't invent the thing just for himself, you'll be able to change this around, but it'll be more like exercise equipment where a pin drops out and you can adjust the height depending on what you need to do. The platform down here is where things start to get really, really interesting because a lot of design went into the curvature here, the materials being used. So this is the same low friction material that we saw up at the top of the device and then the shoes are really where some of the magic starts to happen. So I'm going to get Jan to turn around for us so you can see there's a gentle curve to the Omni itself and then there is a specially designed shoe that right now looks like a handmade moccasin, don't worry the real one will be different, that uses three contact points with a low friction material here and a higher friction toe. So Jan, can you show us how you walk on the Omni? And I'm just going to walk them through the mechanics of it here. So you can see right here, you want low friction when you're on the curved surface. But what would happen if you had a high friction toe on the shoe? Show us what would happen, Jan, if you had high friction toes on the shoe. That's right, your feet would slip out from under you. So this is how, um, okay, sorry. Oh, he's running now. <laughs> you can't see, we're not pointed at you anymore. Um, but this is how it keeps the feeling of walking from feeling maybe not quite like walking on even ground, but maybe more like a treadmill. Now, speaking of treadmills, the application of this, given that the price point is projected to be somewhere in the, I've, I've seen 400 to 600, although this guy's given me the neither will confirm nor deny answer. Thanks a lot for that. Um, so depending on what price pricing looks like, we could be looking at something that is a viable alternative for exercise gear for gamers. Where not only do you get a more immersive gaming experience, but because of the way that the software works, so there's special software that is interpreting this as game movements and as game actions, because of the way that it works, we could be looking at a situation where you can play games and get exercise and not have the games be just an exercise in sort of waggling a stick around or be limited to things like, uh, you know, follow along with the dancer type connect games. We could be talking hardcore games that you can also get a workout while doing. I mean, you can clearly see that Jan is a very fit individual himself, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure how comfortable he felt modeling this for us, but either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this showcase of the Omni by Virtuix. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.